ladies and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to do DIY professional looking nails at home that look just like this. So we are in the middle of quarantine right now and I live in the South. Um, and I found out about a little known secret or it's a little known secret for me because I've been getting my nails done professionally for years and years and years and I've never thought about um, doing press on nails before because the last time I bought press on nails I was 12 years old and they fell off within a day or two and so I had this crazy idea about two weeks ago while I was at Walgreens I decided to just take a little walk down the press on nail section and honey it is so much better than it used to be um, I found so many different types of really cool nails that um, look like professional grade nails you would get done at the salon and so I thought that I would test them out and see if they actually work and you guys they totally did and I have had these nails on for nearly two weeks um, I've tested them and let me tell you they have lasted through shampooing my hair they've lasted through doing the dishes cooking you know I've been cooking every day since we've been in quarantine there's nowhere else to go um, and also I'm I've been typing a lot at work. I have a, a desk job. I'm a project manager. And so um, they've all also lasted through that. They haven't fallen off or given me any issues. So I just wanted to share it with you guys um, because I think they look great and I've gotten compliments on them. Um, and I have a couple of tips to make them look like you actually got them done at a professional salon. Um, there are a few things in here that will really help you and keep them from looking like press on nails if you know what I mean so um, tip number one um, do them at night before you go to bed you want to get all of your skincare done and get your pajamas on and get everything ready for bed so that this is the last thing that you do um, do this because it lets them adhere to your nail for several hours and lets the glue cure um, that has been probably the biggest tip that I could pass on to you guys. Um, tip number two is make sure that you file them to your exact nail shape. And we'll show you in the video um, in a little bit exactly how I did this, but you wanna line, um, when these nails come, I'll show you one. When you get them, they have a perfect shape right by the cuticle line. And I don't know if you can see that, but if you look at your natural nails, they don't, they don't look like that. And you know, when you go to a nail salon, um, they put the nails on based on your nail shape because there's usually acrylic or gel or dip powder. And so what you wanna do is when you take these out of the box, you want to file them to kind of shape the same way that your nail goes. Um, so that's also a way that I got them to look a little bit more like natural professional, if you know what I mean. Um, and then my third tip, is to get them to adhere really well, you also want to file and buff the top of your nails. And I'm gonna show you that in the video as well. So um, take a look, see if you like it, and good luck to you. First, when you're starting out doing your nails, you need to make sure that your nails are clean and that they've been trimmed. And if you need to file them, go ahead and do so right now for the tips to make sure that they are all even. This is the pack of nails that I purchased at Walgreens, and I've linked several different kinds below. As you can see, this is a kit that contains 30 different nails, six jeweled nails, um, adhesive tabs, and some glue, and I believe it also has a cuticle tool that will help during the prep before you start putting the nails on your fingers. This kit also included a fingernail file that came in handy for making sure that I buffed the tops of my nails 
so that they would be rough and they would hold the glue to them more easily. Now that you have pushed back your cuticles and buffed and filed the tops of your nails, it's now time to fit the pre-colored nails onto your fingernail and make sure that your cuticle lines match up with the actual nails that you'll be putting on top of them. So what you want to do um, to keep them from looking completely just store-bought press on, what you will do is file them down based on the different shapes of your true nail. Once you have filed all of the nails to fit the sizes of your cuticles, you need to make sure that you spray your nails with rubbing alcohol. This makes sure that you do not get any fungus underneath your nails and it also helps um, put a blank canvas on your nails so that the glue will adhere to them. Once you have filed all of the nails to fit your cuticle, you will next start applying the glue to your actual nail and then putting the nail on top. So what you will do is apply the glue to your freshly filed fingernail and then hold the nail for several seconds after it is applied to help um, seal the coat. you just continue the process until all fingernails are completed. At the end, you also will want to grab the fingernail file again and make sure that no edges of your natural nail are sticking out from underneath your new press-on nails.
and you're done. And here is the finished product. As you can see, they look great. You have now completed your first set of DIY professional looking nails at home. I had so much fun making this video. Please click like and subscribe if you would like to see more from me. Also, if you see something that you would like for me to try, let me know in the comments as well. I hope you have a good day. Bye.